what is money? Why has it got such a control over our minds? I think as a, as a collective, we're actually starting to see through the illusion of money. It's making us destroy um, our habitat, you know, the thing that actually gives us life. And it's a story, and again, like, stories are important, but we need to choose our stories quite carefully. And, and we're, still, we're still retelling stories that were relevant for 16,000 years ago, you know, and we need to make up new stories that are relevant for our age. How many of us in, in modern society is actually happy? We get up on a Monday morning and we can't wait for Friday evening, you know, and, and then we go and um, get pissed for the weekend just to kind of deal with not being at work all week. Money is living isn't about sacrifice, it's about actually just having a lot more fun again because fun's been wiped out from our lives, you know, we do jobs we hate um, just so that we can have a couple of days off for the weekend. Um, why not just imbue every single day of your life with that fun and that sense of entertainment? Um, it doesn't have to be like it is right now. As a people, we're addicted to money. And, and once we take that first step of actually just recognising it, we can then learn ways of actually reducing, its, um, reducing our dependency on it in many ways. It's not about going cold turkey, but actually going, how can I wean myself off this very addictive substance that's destroying all my relationships? And so what the Moneyless Manifesto is about is actually showing people how they can transition from being highly addicted to money and all that goes with that um, to being um, on a path to actually bringing back into, you know, into life just the very basics like how you, how you get your food and, and um, you know, how you make your entertainment and all the, all the things that money should never have a place in. It's about making a transition that makes sense for you in your life but also that's appropriate to the crisis that we're facing right now. The current kind of political and economic model we use is very much based on fear and competition and kind of pitting us up against each other um, and that has consequences for us as human beings, you know, which of us really wants to wake up in the morning and compete with everybody else for what's perceived to be scarce resources and so a large part of money that's living is also about us actually living in a different way, living with a different cultural story in a way. Like the story I'm trying to I um, speak about it is the one where actually we can cooperate fully, you know, we can, um, we can live in ways that are harmonious with the land we're in, that, that are meaningful um, to each other and that actually connect us to the land. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, economic theory and philosophy aside, um, we need to live sustainably on the only planet we have. We're all part of a massive movement towards um, kind of social and ecological change, um, because just because we have to be, you know. The foundations of how we live today are melting as quick as the ice caps, you know, um, they're not making sense to us anymore. And so we're all part of this change in some form, you know, and we're all doing different things in different ways. And as the kind of ecological situation gets worse, we're going to realise actually we've destroyed the whole basis of our lives here. And I, I feel that moneylessness is a seed in that, in that way, in some ways it's about creating new stories and it, 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 it should be a more heartfelt way, a more loving way because which of us wants to live with less heart, with less love in our lives, you know, it's one of the very basic things we need.